the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks I got these fire red Jordan 9 scheduled to release Wednesday, November 23rd. So as usual, we're going to take a close detailed look at the shoe from all angles. After that, I'm going to share my opinion on the shoe, and then I'll discuss release predictions, reselling predictions, and all that stuff. So let's get right to it. Good leather quality on these. Gray laces with the red eyelets go crazy. I feel like this low key makes a shoe. I mean, we ain't look at the whole shoe yet, but it's fire. Here's the side. Cool gray right here. And that fire red jump man. I feel like the eyelets are like I don't know, the eyelets look low key darker than the jump man. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's a real minor difference, but Just wanted to point that out. I really didn't expect the leather quality on these to be this good. Like, I don't want to make a bigger deal out of it than I should. But I just feel like they normally go cheap on the leather on Jordan 9, so... This was uh, pretty surprising. Yeah, that fire red on cool gray is looking nice. Oh, yeah. These have a mostly gray interior, uh, white midsole, didn't expect that, with um, red jump in on it. And the outsole is just like the insole, all white with the red jump in. You got the best year ever right here. <laughs> and I had a nine sole looks. They come in this box. Got the black plastic on the inside. And here's the box label. Here's a quick all around view of the shoe. All right, now let's talk about them. These are fire. I think I like them because they remind me of the Flint Nines from 2002. It's basically the same shoe, just with fire red instead of the French blue. Only other difference is, if you look at the upper gray part on the fire reds, it's patent leather, and on the flints, it's suede. And I've been waiting for them to retro flints. It's been 20 years. 20 years is crazy. Like, I feel like they low-key teasing by dropping these, you know what I mean? Because I was thinking about those not too long ago. I'm like, damn, they dropped flints in 2002, never re-releasing. I, I just feel like they dropped mad nines, and like, I just figured they would re-release, and I've been waiting, and we still ain't get them. So, 
I guess these are cool for now. They don't serve the nostalgia of retro Flint 9 wood, but still a nice colorway. Like I said earlier, the leather on these is a lot better than I expected. It's not usually this good on Jordan 9s, especially on a general release pair like this. You know, like if it's a special pair or a collab or something like that, they might do it for a pair like that, like, you know, Ben 9s or something like that. But for, you know, like a regular pair like this, I'm surprised. Because even the OG colorway retros ain't get this type of leather. You know what I mean? Like, why I ain't put this on the black and white 9s? I think people are going to like these. I actually posted a picture of these on my story with the Amon Manier 20. And the neck face SBs, and a lot of people was responding about these. And actually, between the three, I kind of expected these to get the least attention out of those. People hit me like, "Yo, those nines is crazy." I feel like people like these, but. I think they would have appreciated them a little bit more if these would have released in the summer. Like, I don't know, something about these. I could just see people, like, wearing these to, like, the carnival, the state fair, something like that. I don't know. They just kind of give me that vibe. Not saying people can't do that for that next year, but, you know. And I hate to put, like, a certain season or shoe. Like, I hate when people say, like, oh, that's a summertime shoe or that's a winter shoe. Like, certain shoes, like, yeah, like, you know, like, if it's a shoe that got, like, snowflakes on it, like, yes, that's a wintertime shoe. Like, those, um, those grade school eights, like... I forgot the name of it, but those got like snowflakes. Like, yes, that's a wintertime shoe. But like, I hate when people just like a shoe that don't really got nothing to do with the season. A, a shoe like this, like they'll be like, oh, this is a wintertime shoe. Like, I hate when people say stuff like that. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to say this is a summertime shoe, but I do feel like these would have just been a little bit more hot. Like the release of these would have been a little bit more hot if they would have dropped it like July as opposed to uh, November. These dropped the day before Thanksgiving. So I'm sure these will be a part of a lot of people's Thanksgiving outfits. <laughs> Once these come out, I feel like they'll resell for around like 250, like 240 to 270, depending depending on size. As usual, bigger sizes are more on the higher end and smaller sizes are more on the lower end of that range. These could be a good hold. Sometimes here and there, Jordan 9s go up pretty quick. If I were to hold on to these, I wouldn't invest a lot in them, you know, no more than a couple pairs. Because even if they do end up going fast, it's just like, if you're going to invest your money in some sneakers, there's just other pairs that have a better chance at going up quicker, more of a guarantee of going up quicker. But you know, if you want to hold on to a pair or two or a couple, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. You never know what happens. I don't think they'll ever go below retail, so you ain't got to worry. You can't lose. But me personally, if I were to get pairs of these to resell, I'd get them off right away. Anybody that wants to cop a pair of these for themselves to wear, I'm wishing you the best of luck in getting them in your size for retail. They shouldn't be that hard to get, but I don't think they'll be that easy. If this video is helpful and formal in any way, I really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in more early reviews like this or any other sneaker related content, do us both a favor and subscribe to my channel. Just make sure you tap that little bell icon next to the subscribe button and select all. That way, when I put a new video out, you'll get notified and you won't miss out on anything. Thank you all for watching. Everybody, please stay. Stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll see you next time.